The asset store is a pretty big marketplace for finding assets for your projects and it can easily turn into a wild west environment the more you dig into it. So in this video, I'm going to share 5 of my own favorite assets for Unity 2019. Now most importantly, if you guys have any favorites of your own, make sure to leave a comment on this video stating which ones you like and also join our Discord server where we have a bunch of like-minded game developers who love to chat about Unity, talk about game development, and even share their own collection of assets so you can find more there. You can join our community by using the link in the description. Also, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business ranging from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics. As game makers, it's very important for us to allocate most of our time onto building our actual game and polishing our project. Squarespace makes it very easy to create and maintain an online presence for your game and your game studio to ensure that you're always connected to your players. Squarespace allows you to have a full overview of your site's traffic so you can measure how your online presence performs and how it helps with sales or downloads on your game. You can also use Squarespace to easily purchase domains, create a website with videos and other imageries of promoting your game, and add more functions to your site such as user comments and scheduled posts. Make sure to go to the link in the description or simply squarespace.com for a free trial now. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Saiku or the link in the description once again and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. All right, so without further ado, grab Unity, grab your wallet, and grab your cat, because you're gonna have to sell it after watching this video, <laughs> and let's get into it. The first asset we're gonna check out today is called Polygon Nature Pack. This is a low poly asset pack of trees, plants, terrain, rocks, props, and FX assets to add to your existing low poly style game. This is a new addition to the Polygon asset series with the hybrid style trees. This bridges the gap between Polygon and more traditional stylized assets and fits a number of aesthetics. This pack also comes with a detailed set of Polygon style terrain textures that have clean tiling normal maps. The main features include animated plants and trees, custom stylized water shader, triple in air rock shader for instant moss and snow coverage, and awesome particle effects including butterflies, falling leaves, grass blowing, stylized sun rays, fireflies, and more. The Polygon Nature Pack along with every other asset we mentioned in this video are going to be linked in the description. And moving on to number two, we have Amplify Color. Now Amplify Color is the lightest, most flexible Unity extension for industry level color grading. It's very easy to use and to integrate into your project with no coding required and it works well for both 3D and 2D games. This also happens to be the popular tool that was used in games like Firewatch. We can use this tool to define and blend LUTs, basically color profiles between different areas. We can rescale volumes, move them, rotate and even animate them. Overall, I think this is one of the easiest and high quality tools to use for color grading in Unity. And at number three, we have Meadow Environment. Now, Meadow Environment is a dynamic nature pack created by Nature Manufacturer. This was also the pack that I used in my in one of my previous videos where I made a beginner's guide to reflection probes in Unity, and a lot of people were asking what this asset pack was, giving compliments to the environment. Meadow Environment is one of few environment packs that looks so good and also supports the built-in render pipeline, the lightweight render pipeline, and HDRP, which is the high definition render pipeline. This pack is basically a huge library of 100% scanned assets that are carefully optimized at last and uses LOD or level of detail in Unity. And now moving on to number four, we have Stronghold. Stronghold allows you to create medieval scenes very quickly. With this environment pack, you can create a detailed fortress or a climatic city from the Middle Ages. In this pack, we will find the most important props to build a medieval world. It contains more than 146 prefabs, including buildings, fortifications, fences, wooden constructions, and many more. There are interiors for all enterable structures, 50 types of flora like grass and ivy, 19 sets of photo scanned rocks and stones, and many more things. And last but not least, moving on to number 5, we have Winter Forest Environment. 
Winter Forest Environment is an environment pack that enables you to build winter scenes with a collection of over 140 prefabs at your disposal. In this pack, we can find everything ranging from tall pines, spruces, and birches to small saplings, bushes, and grasses. We can also find props like fallen trunks and branches that are all photo scanned with unmatched detail. The pack also includes non-winter variants of all the trees, which makes the models versatile and usable in non-winter scenes as well. There is also a very realistic wind that is powered by a custom tree importer, which is also going to be linked in the description, which will make your scene feel alive. There are more than 29 tree models, 27 small ground coverage plants, 17 decor models such as fallen log sticks, and particle effects for snow, smoke, and fog. So those were 5 amazing assets for Unity 2019. Most of these are compatible with the scriptable render pipeline templates in Unity 2, meaning that they are compatible with HDRP and LWRP. If you guys liked watching this video and want to see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and hit the subscribe button below the video to stay up to tune for new content. We're going to do a bunch more content releases and like asset store, you know, game dev logs, tutorials and stuff like that. So you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. Now, most importantly, if you guys have any of your own favorite assets you guys want to share with the community, make sure to leave a comment on this video stating which ones you like and which ones you use the most. And also join our Discord server where we have over 10,000 like-minded game developers. Actually, it's like over, I think it's over 13,000 at this point, which is crazy to say. Um, but we're basically a like-minded bunch of people in a group um, where we talk about Unity, talk about game development, you know, memes, YouTube, everything, literally everything. So make sure to join by going to the link in the description and become a part of the community right away. And before ending the video, I would also like to give a huge shout out to Richard Stance, Cooper, Hoopla, Flu Joey, Beat or Die, MakeAGame.com, Couch Ferret, Glassville Entertainment, AcademyOfGames.com, Terrorif.com, and John Funnel Grid. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make more videos. Alright, so I'm going to be super active in the comment section of this video and in our Discord server because those are the two places that I usually hang out. People go to bars, I go to Discord. <laughs> so with that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments and in our Discord. So thanks so much for watching, have a good night, and peace out. <laughs>